somebody asked me in the comments last night, what's the deal with baby powder? Well, anytime you mess with insulation, either you're installing it or you're tearing it out, you know it's really itchy. So what you do is you take your baby powder and then you, you put a really good coat to any exposed areas of your skin, like on your arms, the back of your neck, sides of your face, even the front of your face. If you got shorts on your legs, put it everywhere, okay? What's the worst thing that can happen? You look a little pale and you smell great. <laughs> so what it does, the baby powder fills in your pores and then the insulation, that fine, just, I guess it's damn near microscopic glass that gets in your skin, does, it can't get into your pores and it, it keeps you from itching. So well, that's the thing with baby powder. See, like so. And then you rub it in and you're good to go. You can play with insulation all you want and it will probably cut down the aggravation of the itchiness like 95%. My first order of business is to get the rest of this final siding off of here and along the back side. You can see I already started a little bit. When I get that done, um, then I'm gonna take off the rest of this insulated sheeting. Uh, there's insulation on the walls over here. I'm sure there's insulation on these walls. I'm gonna go ahead and clean all that out and just open this up. That way there's always a nice breeze going through it. Well, I got all the vinyl siding off of it except for that little corner piece, but I need to get my extension ladder. And I'm starting to take down this foam board. And look. You can see a mobile home or an RV. <laughs> I don't know why I keep getting it messed up. I hope I can find like a, a data plate to actually find out what kind of RV it is. I don't think it's a Spartan, but we shall see, I guess. I've got so far I'm gonna take off those last two sheets on this side and then the sheets on the end there and I'm gonna call it a day because I didn't get you know here early like well I got here early like I wanted but I didn't have a chance to do anything so I had to come back so I think I'm gonna do a little bit more regroup and come back earlier in the morning and try to do some more stuff so but look you can see an RV, a camper trailer. <laughs> if I think I figured out why all the walls drooped, the ceiling was sagging so bad, is because they built it on these metal piers all the way around. I thought it was just in the front on the addition, but it wasn't. They've got these metal poles in the ground and they're spaced so far apart, and they only use two by fours, it looks like, for the, the bottom of the walls, and the walls sagged. If they would have used two by eights or two by tens all the way across they'd have been okay <clears throat> but you know hindsight is 2020 it's coming along slowly but surely
baby deer. <laughs> <laughs>